Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this week's video, we're gonna be taking a 2.2 kilowatt brushless motor that's essentially designed for a radio controlled airplane and we're gonna throw it on a grass trimmer. Now this is not just any grass trimmer, it is one that I created and then 3D printed and I'm gonna assemble all the components here very shortly and I'll give you a look at what that looks like once it's complete. Now this grass trimmer, we're gonna operate it on a 6S lithium polymer battery pack. However, this motor to extract all the 2.2 kilowatts of power that this thing has, you need to run it on an 8S pack. Now, a lot of grass trimmers, they typically run to about 7 to 8,000 RPM. However, we'll be capped out just above the 7,000 RPM mark, which should be plenty enough to cut lots of grass, and we'll be able to see that very shortly here in the video. First, we'll go through the completed build so you can see all the major components then we'll go and run the grass trimmer and see if we can actually cut grass with this thing. Then we'll take a look at the data log that we're able to extract and pull from our very first run of the grass trimmer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the assembly and build of this grass trimmer. Here is the bottom end of our trimmer. This is the part that does all of the work. So we have a couple 3D printed pieces and the actual trimmer piece the spool here is not 3D printed, so this was the only unit that was actually purchased. And uniquely enough, it actually has the perfect fitting to work with this radio controlled airplane motor in order to actually attach to the prop shaft. So that inside there is the prop shaft of that motor and the nut threads right perfectly on there and works very well with this unit. And do note that this unit does not have the typical bump type spool. You do have to place the string in here and pull down these little retracts. You have pre-cut strings and you just pop them in uh, before every use. So not a big deal, but probably inconvenient for many who are used to that. So here we have our brushless motor. This is a Turnigy SK3 series. It's the 5065 with a 320 kV. Uh, this motor here, very good up to 8S. We're gonna be operating it for our initial test on 6S. Now attaching this motor is the adapter plate that allows us to attach to our PVC piping utilizing the screw right here. There's another screw on the other side as well as mounting this uh, shield or guard to this adapter plate as well. Obviously the guard is going to prevent any grass clippings from thrown, getting thrown out into your legs and that can definitely hurt. Uh, depending on how fast this thing's ripping at. So now let's follow the shaft up to the next 3D printed part. So this is going to be the handle very simply enough. This is what it looks like. It's just a piece that gets clamped right onto the shaft of our trimmer here. Two parts in order to make this work. You have the handle part and then you have the bottom cap piece that allows you to fasten it. I do flip it over because this is not PVC piping. This is actually ABS. It works a little bit better for what we're going to be using it for. And it looks like it's 40 millimeters in diameter. So this is the pipe that we will be using. Now moving over to our next component here. This is the throttle for the unit. And definitely one of the most difficult parts to 3D print and get right. This is what it looks like. There's a couple pieces and the line from the servo tester that is actually installed into this unit goes and feeds right up inside that pipe. And here we have our throttle. So the throttle just works just like what you would expect uh, right there. And this is multi pieces in order to make it work. We have this arm right here that gets attached to this component here through the back side. And then you do have a cap very similar to how we have this done there on the handle. So that's going to be the throttle. Again, like I said, the, probably one of the most complicated parts of this entire build. So now moving over to the last component that we have, we did this all out of one piece just to make it simple in terms of installation, but it definitely did not need to be designed as one piece. It could have been two pieces mounted to our ABS pipe independently. So looking at the top side, this is going to be where we have our speed control installed. You can see all the wires there. And from here, the wires go all the way down through the pipe, all the way to our bottom end. 
And what's key about this is we have to lengthen the wires from the speed control down to the motor because we cannot lengthen the ones that go to our battery pack. So these are the ones that go to the battery pack. And there's a cover that gets placed here and we'll have that on shortly in order to cap off the speed control box. And I'll do that right when I have the cap placed onto the motor side and you'll be able to see both of those as well. So the back side here, this is simply just where the battery gets installed, so not a big deal. We have the battery that's able to get installed and strapped down nice and tight. So now let's go ahead, get the cap installed, place it on the speed control and place that bottom end motor cover onto the bottom end of our trimmer here. All right, so here we have it. We have our motor cover installed onto our motor bottom end assembly. The motor can still breathe, as you can see through the backside here, which should cover most of the, the debris that could possibly enter in this general area. So now we'll go and install this cap onto the top there. That's how the top cover there fits in and to make it very quick and easy to access we do have a couple pins that can be placed into the holes that you see in order to quickly allow this to come off with no screwdriver or any tools required. There you have it. Now let's plug this into a 6S battery pack and fire it up for the very first time and cut some grass. Well, there you go, it works. So now let's go and take a look at what kind of data we were able to record. Now, obviously we didn't have a lot of grass to go and cut, so I would not expect us to be pulling anywhere close to that 2.2 kilowatts, but I'm sure that we were able to go and see at least a few hundred watts being used in order to cut the grass there around the property. Here is the graph that we got of our first run. I want to pay attention to a few key items from this chart, our ripple voltage, voltage, wattage, temperature, RPM, and milliamp hours. Let's start off at our ripple voltage. For ripple voltage, I'm looking for values here less than one volt, and we got a max of 0.53. So this is okay, we can move on here. Wattage, here we hit a maximum of 450, and you can see it's right in this area here that we hit that spike. It was just for a split second. Otherwise, we really didn't have enough grass to cut here to really push this up. Uh, much higher. So taking a look at temperature, we did hit on the speed control 56.2 degrees. This is less than 60 and is definitely okay. Keep in mind that we do have our speed control mounted into a box that does not see any type of airflow there. RPM, we hit just like I was expecting, somewhere over 7,000 RPM. Here we got 7166, and that's probably where I was at this area here where I held full throttle on the unit 
for a good amount of time there cleaning up some grass and stuff that was right on that patio stone. So we pulled around that area about 287 watts to cut that little bit of grass out of there. Uh, so we now when we take a look at the milliamp hours consumed, we pulled out about 225 milliamp hour out of our 6S lithium polymer. That was a 5,000 pack. This is a small amount of power being pulled out of our battery pack to do everything that I need to do with the grass trimmers. One thing I'd like to do is get this trimmer out to a property that needs more grass cut, some thicker grass, taller grass, just to see if we can push this thing much harder than it has been pushed in this video. Well guys, that pretty well does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video like the video if you do and don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you in that next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.